Welcome to Empowering Finances, brought to you by Youth Empowered Botswana. I am excited today to have this conversation with a friend of mine. Uh, she says that she can't say no to me, that's why she's here. But maybe I'm also not telling the truth, and you hear from her. Please, Miss Vivian Mwako, introduce yourself and thank you for taking the time. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for coming, for, for having me. It's true, I really can't say no to you. Yeah. And that's primarily the reason that I'm here. But um, it's also true that I believe in the work that Youth Empowered is doing. I believe in this conversation particularly. So I was like, okay, maybe for once she's not dragging me yeah. into, into this. Uh, my name is Vivian Nwaku. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the current executive director for Botswana Center for Public Integrity. Mm. Um, what would I like you to know about me? I am a woman who loves the Lord Jesus. Um, I try to live my life on on biblical principles as much as I can, you know, investigating and understanding them. And I really believe that the Bible has a principle for every aspect of life. Yeah. And so whether it is, um, you know, how to live regular old life versus or wealth or career, I think there's an answer somewhere in scripture. And so that's who I am in general. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say <laughs> and, about and actually, myself. Yeah, and actually that is why we invited you to have a sit down and have this conversation because today we are actually looking at money principles from the Bible. So she's going to help us navigate what that is all about, what it means. And since we are, you, you know, empowered with finances, we look at wealth from different angles. And um, we are going to look at what wealth is as per the Bible. Okay. We're going to look at what money is. Is money wealth? Um, and the, the principles that she has unearthed over time based on biblical yeah writings yes. and the word yes. okay so we'll get writing into it and thank okay. you for taking the time my friend no thank you for having me i do want to say i do have a, an academic background in theology yeah. so there's there's a lot of uh, bible nerd in me mm -hmm. that if i get carried away you should say whoa, whoa, whoa uh bring it back <laughs> we <laughs> so love there's, nerds. there's there's, there's a bit of nerds, bible nerd in me better. um um, yes. <laughs> but, but I would I will say as much as I have that theological background, the, the, the majority really of of this discussion is going to be me see having sought the Bible, me yeah. having sat with God and said, What what is happening here? What yeah. are you saying? Yeah. Um yeah, that's that's where I'm coming from. Awesome. Nerd. <laughs> Bible nerd. Okay. <laughs> so what is wealth and is building wealth biblical? What does the Bible say? Okay, so you're not going to, when you go into the Bible, you're not going to get a definition mm -hmm. of what wealth is. It's almost um, a given yeah. that wealth exists. Okay. So the Bible addresses it from, from that, that it's a given that wealth exists. But if you were to pick up the principle of what is wealth, it would be the abundance of anything that is societally accepted as good. Abundance of? Of anything that is societally or culturally accepted as good. Okay. So if I have, if I have an abundance of knowledge, mm -hmm. then I have a wealth of knowledge. Okay. I am wealthy in knowledge. Yeah. If I have an abundance, uh, abundance, abundance of, of kindness, of lovingness, then they, they would say, then you would say that, you know, I, I have a, a richness in character. Yeah. So it's an abundance okay. of, of anything that is considered positive. Yeah. And I want you to note that I'm not saying an excess mm. because from a language perspective, when you say excess, yeah. automatically we're thinking it's too much. Yes. So you give, um, it gives you a negative connotation. Yeah. So true wealth from a biblical per, uh, perspective is abundance mm. as opposed to excess because excess is often treated as something that's negative. Yeah, excess yeah. can kill you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, excess like, in anything yeah. <laughs> will, will, mm. will kill you, yes. Can excess, excess in money kill? Absolutely. Oh yeah? Um, excess in money, I think Excess in money can kill, not in the literal sense of the word, mm. but even scripture will tell you that that excess, that it, it's, it, it creates or perpetuates this hunger for more mm. that you're constantly chasing. You're constantly chasing. Yeah. 
that which you already have like yeah. you have you have an excess yeah. of um of money you ha- you could go anywhere you could do whatever but there's still this hole there's that's this true. there's this thing that you just feel like it's not enough and so it yeah. con- so you 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 that's how you find people overwork even you know the billionaires of the world mm. they're constantly working but they've got so much money yeah um people pursue money at all costs mm. which can get them into dangerous situations so yes it can it can very well well kill you because it can also um an excess of money can give you access to things yes that you should not have access to i think such as um access to illegitimate uh, forms of sexual activity okay. access to drugs and substance abuse yeah. Um, access to spaces that you have no business being in. Yeah, but um, because you can. But because you can, you've got I mean, the money, you can pay your way through. Let's take the ocean gate. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you think about it, you think there's some things you should just, this is me personally, yeah. you know, some things you should just leave alone. Just yeah. leave it alone, leave it alone and use common sense but then i think sometimes people even say you have more money than sense because mm. because of the pursuit that is to say you know this money the amount of money that i have it does not restrict anything mm. from me i can have what i want i can go where i want i don't need to listen to caution yeah. and i don't lis- need to listen to convention yeah. because my my money gives me access mm. and so i can do what I want to do. Yeah. Okay, so then with that in mind, and maybe it might be even repetitive, is money wealth? No. Um, if when you think about it, when when the when the Bible mentions riches for the first time, it was describing Abraham. Okay. As a rich person. Mm-hmm. Well, it, this is the Bible nerd in me. Yeah. Chronologically, yes. the book of Job comes before the book of Genesis. Chronologically. Okay. But as you're reading it, we start with Genesis. with Genesis. Yes. So in the in the book of Genesis, the first when the Bible talks about riches, it was describing Abraham and it said Abraham was rich in and then it specified. Mm. It specified that he was rich in sheep and he was rich in, you know, um goats and and things like that. Yeah. Um so what, so riches and wealth very often are equated to something material. Mm-hmm. So yes, I said there's an abundance of many things. Like you can yeah. have an abundance of character and all of those. That that's wealth. Yeah. But when you're talking the financial space, then um, then wealth in the terms in in the sense of a financial space is always well. It's always in terms of abundance in material goods, mm-hmm. whether in and it's cultural mm-hmm. because there may be a culture that is. Uh, built around money the paper and the coins yeah. that we know then there may be a culture that's built around livestock and so if you or have an abundant or gold yeah. so if you have an abundance of that then you are wealthy so it's not money so much as it is value wealth is value what value have we attached to something um, that then opens the door to something else. If 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 you're trekking, you're trekking with me. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. So people who actually earn a lot of money, mm. but do not have certain things of a value, could actually be poor. Yes. I, here's the thing. I think, and 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 people have looked at me sideways for saying this. Mm. I don't think people actually value money i think people value what they believe money can get them explain that like that in so, simple terms so for example mm. i live in a society where in order for me to have food in order for me to go where i want to go mm. in order for me to have security like you know to have a house that has security bars yeah. i need money yes and so i pursue that money because I want security. I pursue that money because I want comfort. Mm. So my value is comfort. It just so happens that money is the way to get there. So very uh-huh. often people think they're valuing money. People think I'm pursuing money, chase that paper, chase the hustle. Yeah. That's yes, but it's actually the vehicle to what you really want. What you really want is for your kids to eat and for your kids to go to school 
And if your child gets up or you get up and say, I want to travel the world, to not, you want freedom. Yeah. And we live in a society where the thing that opens that up is the money, it's the riches. Yeah. And, and it, it might not even, and hit, that's the thing, it might not even be money. Yeah. Because remember, because there are people who travel the world, they don't have money, but they have, they've built influence. And so the mm -hmm. influence allows them to travel. So they the influ open certain doors. Exactly. And so they may not pursue money. Yeah. They may not pursue a big bank account, right? Because, because their vehicle mm -hmm. for the, what they actually value mm -hmm. came through another way. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. So how, how do we actually then make young people aware of the difference? riches wealth money and the value and actually the desires that we seek that may take a couple of thousands buddha mm. to attain how do we make them understand that 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 there's actually a difference and that it's and if there's anything from the bible to even because we have a lot of christians in <laughs> yes. both right for them to actually go there and see these differences so I feel like we're always chasing money yes. and we get so exasperated and yes. sometimes give up, but there may be something that we are not getting. I think it's a conversation that needs to be had yeah. very young and okay. it needs to be had in the church. It needs to be had in homes yeah. for people to understand. I think for people to understand that we, you don't demonize the vehicle. You don't demonize. You don't money. demonize. Yeah, don't you don't demonize the vehicle. But money if, is all if, is the root of no. The, the Bible does money. the Bible doesn't say money is the root <laughs> of all evil. The Bible says that the love of money. Okay, th that's actually something that I wanted to get into. Yeah, when the Bible handles money and and talks about wealth and talks about riches, mm. its concern is always about mastery. The mastery. mastery. The Bible, God is concerned about what is your master. Um, Who are you submitting to? Who are you pouring your worship onto? What is the, the heart motivation be, behind anything that you do? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So because the Bible is concerned about that, Scripture says that it is God who gives you the power to gain wealth. But it also says that in gaining that wealth, you don't forsake God. You understand that he is the source and the money is the resource. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. So what I think what often happens is we, we get it twisted. We think money is evil. Yeah. We think money is bad. And it's not that it's bad. What is bad about it is when it becomes your identity, it becomes your pursuit, it becomes what you want, and you forsake everything else because of any value and, and yeah. scripture t treats any value that will will compete with your love for God yeah. as bad like like not it doesn't treat the value as bad but it it will it speaks negatively about anything that would take you away from your love of the Lord so there's a direct link between our worship and what value we put in money and how that can be interpreted yes by i, I guess the one you worship yes. or the one you say you worship because yes. most of the time as christians yes. we say we worship god yes but then if now money becomes our god our love for it yes then it is something yes so the money itself is is it's neither here nor there it's a mm. societal construct that we've created so that we can live life together yeah. but is has it become all you think about all you pursue are you are you hoarding it are you you know are you doing things that are an, unethical mm -hmm. in order to gain more of it? Um, the Bible talks a lot about dishonest gain. Mm -hmm. And that dishonest gain is coming from a desire, a greed, a desire to have, 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 mm -hmm. have, have, forsaking the responsibility that comes with wealth, yeah. forsaking where you got that, that wealth um, ultimately. So yes, it's important. And just to go back to your question yeah. about talking to young people, yeah. it's important for us to have these conversations when children are young, mm -hmm. to let them know that, that God is the source and everything else is the resource. Mm -hmm. That when you say that you want 20 pula to go and buy the cheap I, I, I know it's not that expensive, <laughs> when you want that money, 
That what you want is not the money. What you want is the the chips. The chips. Yes. And the money happens to be the vehicle to to get the chips. If I could give you the chips without giving you the money, would you be happy? Mm. Let's actually put it there. <laughs> right. And let's just pause it there. And, and 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 then take a quick break. Okay. And as you think, you know, God is their source. And the money is, is the a resource. resource, yes. Do you want the chips or do you want the money? Or money is just the vehicle to getting the chips. Yeah. Of course for some it's the vehicle to getting the <laughs> the, the, um, the helicopter and the jet and the Mercedes Benz, right? We'll be right back. <laughs> 